so the new needle is uh, running. It's noticeably quieter than before. I don't know how well that comes across in the video, but it is quieter. This is running at the same RPMs as before, and it's not all rattly and janky sounding. Um, let me turn it off, and we'll go in and take a quick look at some of the upgrades here. I should do this where I have better light, but I just want to get it out right, right away. This is now using a flywheel with a bearing that the needle mounts to. I've switched to a slightly thinner needle. There are now four bearings down here which guide the needle before it hits the guide so that the needle is uh, hopefully less friction in the guide. And I switched to a MIG tip. Man, this is going to be shaky for the guide. MIG tip, you know what, I wonder, that's why it's so shaky, I was zoomed in, how do you like that? <laughs> the MIG tip is running a little warm already. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to eliminate the piece of wood and just mount my guide straight to the uh, PLA or ABS if I printed an ABS, but I don't think that's going to happen because it's still running pretty warm. It, it, it isn't right now, but I've only had it on for a moment or two. Um, it's also now taller than the old uh, cutter. And you can see there it's about half an inch taller I believe. Almost, yeah, half inch to an inch taller. And it's also, if I come around this way, uh, harder to see here, but it is shorter. Come on, focus. By almost an inch. And instead of having that big crankshaft hanging out, it now has a nice tight flywheel and bearing. So it's less likely to uh, develop some of the problems that it had before with that crank used to move as the RPM would go up and all sorts of bad stuff. And That's where a lot of the vibrations came from. Plus, this one can be balanced. I haven't really done a great job balancing it yet. I did just enough to get it up and running. And it is looking pretty good here. I mean, it sounds so much better than it did before. Let's see how fast we're running. Let's take a read in here. Yeah, we're at uh, 7,500 RPM, which is higher, almost 1,000 RPM higher than we ran the old one. And this thing is nice and quiet now. I can just take a piece of foam. And, you know, usually it cuts better if you're up against something. <laughs> but it's working. <laughs> it's working pretty well. So I'm really looking forward to giving this thing a better go tomorrow, trying to cut something. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Hope you enjoy this as usual, you know, like button, all that stuff. Uh, you know, quick, dirty little cell phone video like this, I gotta throw it in there. Why not? I need the inspiration. Thanks a lot. Uh, we'll see how it goes.